Welcome everybody to Wayne's World of Science and Technology and this is my first YouTube video on the channel and it's going to be about my favorite thing of all time, my absolute first love, paleoanthropology. I don't know if you've heard but there was a discovery in uh, South Africa just recently of a human mandible and it is in a site that is being called, that is labeled UW105. UW stands for the University of Witzwatersrand, and the uh, dig is being overseen by Professor Lee R. Berger, the same guy who found uh, Homo naledi and Australopithecus sediba. This may actually be one of the most significant finds ever, even though we have no clue what this one solitary mandible came from yet. And mostly because of the way it's being handled. Professor Berger and the university are putting just about the entire thing online. Everybody, and I mean everybody in the world, is going to get a chance to see this stuff. And this is hugely important. Most people have no idea what's going on uh, with uh, fossils. I mean, like, hey, if you're not into paleoanthropology, you wouldn't necessarily know. But... It's the sort of thing people should have an idea about. And so, hey, I'm doing this video to help promote uh, Professor Berger's and the university's videos, which I will link to at the bottom. I'm also going to recommend this book uh, called Maglisberg and the uh, Cradle of Humankind. A fantastic book, which starts way, way back at the Big Bang and goes through the effect of um, everything that has basically has happened to make South Africa what South Africa is. Um, there's, just for an example, I wondered for a long time why they weren't finding anything older than 2.1 million years old in South Africa, and the reason is simple. The cave systems didn't form till then. So there was nothing to find. Uh, in the Rift Valley, for example, you're finding stuff on the surface as the surface erodes, which is both harder and easier. You don't have to crawl around in all these deep, dark caves and uh, hopefully not getting any uh, rocks landing on your head. But at the same time, stuff that's uh, in caves is actually easier to work in a lot of ways because... If you've got one fossil in a cave, you know, the odds are really good that there's another one there. And another one. And another one. In every single cave site they found in South Africa they have that has had one hominin fossil, they found others. So, you know, this is a really important site from the point of view of, yes, it's a new fossil site, but it's even more important because it's going to be open. And everybody will be able to see this stuff. And... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so excited. Yeah, hey, what can I say? I'm a science geek. Anyways, have fun, stay safe, wear a mask when you're out, keep washing those hands, and I will be seeing you again soon because I have a list of other things that I'm going to uh, be getting on to. Oh, and yeah, if you want to ask for specific videos, feel free. I do have a Patreon, and, uh, well... I'm quite willing to look into doing things. I may not have the technical expertise to, but I'll try hard. Have a good day. Bye-bye.